virtual machine with uh, Puppet Node VMware Create. <clears throat> and uh, the next step is to actually install Puppet on the target machine. Um, so we could use the Puppet Node install action to do this. Um, so the new virtual machine that we just created is called Agent Demo 1, and it's at this IP address. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the help for Puppet Node install. And um, it's important to remember that um, when you're installing Puppet using uh, this command, you can install this on any existing machine. It doesn't need to be created with Node AWS or Node VMware, um, the, the cloud provisioning features of Puppet Enterprise. Um, so if you've got uh, existing machines in your data center or on your network that you'd like to install Puppet on, um, you can just use Puppet Node install to do this. Um, so We've got multiple strategies that we can use to install Puppet. Um, and we tell uh, Puppet node install which strategy we want to use using the install script option. Um, so we're going to use Puppet Enterprise as the installation script. Um, the Puppet man node manual page will give a list of all the installation strategies um, that Cloud Provisioner in Puppet Enterprise supports. Um, there are strategies to install Puppet from RPM or DEBS um, or install Puppet open source from GEMS if you'd like to go that route. Um, so to install Puppet on our new machine, let's go with Puppet node install and we're going to use Puppet Enterprise. And we need to give, whoops, Spelled that wrong. We need to give the um, the actual installation archive as an option. Um, Puppet will upload this to the target machine using um, SSH secure copy. So we'll do installer payload, and this is just a path, a local path to the installation um, distribution. So we've also got an installer answers file. Um, for this, actually I'd like to show this to you. Um, I've just created a automated installation answers file using Puppet Enterprise Installer S to save the answers file. And you'll notice that um, I'm dynamically figuring out the host name of the target system using the dollar host name bash variable. Um, so you could use one answers file to install Puppet Enterprise on a large number of systems if you'd want. Um, we also have the dash dash Puppet agent cert name option, which allows you to override whatever's in the answers file. Um, so that's another way you can specify the, um, the puppet agent certificate name to use. Okay, and then we also, so I am going to override the cert name. So that's what the puppet agent cert name option. And I'm gonna call this agent.puppetlabs.vm. Um, then the last three options that we need are how to actually log into the target machine. Um, so Cloud Provisioner uses SSH public and private keys to automate the login process. Um, so if you, if you have, um, like in, in this installation scenario, I've already added my Puppet or my SSH public key uh, to the template that I cloned from. Um, so I'm going to log in as root. And to specify the SSH key to use, that's the key file option. And it takes a special argument named agent if we want to use um, the private key that is loaded into our SSH agent on my laptop.
And this again automates the installation process so we don't need to type in any passwords or anything like that. Um, finally, I'd like to run in debug mode. Um, this will give us a very clear picture of um, each of the commands that are executed on the remote system. And then finally, um, the IP address uh, to use, which is 196. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. So the tarball is uploaded to the target system in the temp directory, and we generate a unique directory um, to install from. And then it just runs through the automated installation process using the answers file. Um, so this is all executing on the target system that we're installing Puppet Agent onto. When it's done, um, we're going to need to sign the certificate on our Puppet Master. And with the answers, you'll notice here, um, this agent is configured to talk to puppetmaster.puppetlabs.vm. And that is another virtual machine that we're running in VMware. Um, so we've got the Puppet Enterprise 2.0 console up and running here. Um, so you'll notice that I've only got one node that's currently talking to this um, Puppet Master. Um, but once we're done installing here and we've signed the certificate, um, the Puppet Agent will start showing up in the, the console automatically. All right, so now that the installation is finished, um, I expect that there'll be a certificate signing request waiting. Um, so in my, my second tab up here, I'm actually logged into that, that puppetmaster.puppetlabs.vm host. And if we do puppet cert list, we should see the waiting certificate request. Um, so now I just need to sign this. And then run um, puppet agent on the machine um, to get that new uh, to get the science certificate. And that is one ninety 
six. Okay. So now I'm logged into the machine I just installed Puppet Arm. And as you can see, it's downloaded um, the signed certificate and it's doing a full Puppet run now. Um, so one of the other things we want to check are how is this machine actually classified? Um, so automatically in Puppet Enterprise 2, um, if <clears throat> a node is not added to any groups, um, so we can see we've now got a report um, with eight resources. If a node is not a member of any groups, uh, every two minutes, Puppet Enterprise on the master will automatically add any nodes that aren't a member of any groups to the default group. Um, so let's go ahead and wait until that happens. Um, so it looks like it already has. So just refreshing the page, um, agent.puppetlabs.vm is now a member of the default group. So if we go back and run Puppet Agent again, this will automatically configure this node to be part of M Collective, um, which will enable it to work with live management and um, things like that. So if we refresh again, we can see um, that report or that last run. We had 44 resources and 28 of them were changed. So these are things like um, setting up the M Collective security credentials and that sort of thing. Um, so now we can go to live management and our agent should automatically show up. As you can see here. Um, so we can kick off a puppet run now from here. So as we can see in the agent, it last ran 47 seconds ago. And we can tell it to run again. So we've signaled the, uh, the running puppet agent. So we should see a new report come in uh, for this machine, which we just have. And as we can see, those resources, 43 of them are unchanged. So that's puppet node install. Um, again, using this, we can install Puppet Agent um, on a target machine, either created with uh, Puppet Node AWS or Puppet Node VMware. Um, or we can install Puppet on a machine that already exists as long as we're able to SSH into that target machine.